Okay, just gonna do a video on the serious wicked sin of slothfulness, which is basically just being lazy, being slothful, not having a work ethic. That's really what it comes down to when you're slothful. And got a few scriptures that do describe what a slothful man is and what slothfulness is and why it's a sin. So I'm gonna go through those right now. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, I work a job, I work a very, very physically demanding job, and you know, it's important for Christians to have a work ethic. It's important for Christians to be able to work hard, especially if you're, you're a man. If you're a Christian man, because you're supposed to provide for your family. So that's what the Word of God says in uh, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. You're supposed to provide for your own. But being slothful doesn't allow you to do that. Being slothful, being a sluggard, being idle, it's a very wicked sin. It prevents you from doing so. So I'm going to show some scriptures against slothfulness and describing what slothfulness is like. Turn to Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 27. The slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. You see, when the slothful man goes out hunting, he's too lazy to even roast his food. He's like, oh, whatever, I'll just throw it in the fridge somewhere and do whatever. Then you get the food goes bad, obviously. There's problems there. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 19. The way of the slothful man is a hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made of plain. Or is made plain. Exactly. When you're slothful, you know. I remember at work when there'd be someone that's slothful. It just always gets annoying. It's a way of thorns. It's always just, it gets annoying, gets in the way, causes problems. It makes it harder for the other people around him. The way a slothful man is a hedge of thorns. And it's hard for themselves too, because then they end up getting in trouble themselves. They end up getting into problems themselves. It's a way of thorns, the slothfulness. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. He also that is slothful in his work is a brother to him that is a great waster. Exactly. Again, experiences I had at work. When someone's being slothful and being just being idle and lazy, they are brothers to them that are basically a time waster to someone that just likes wasting time. And then they never get the task done. Here's a good example of this. Uh, since I worked the night shift at a uh, store, a food store, a grocery store, obviously, I'm not going to say the exact name for you know personal details, but Basically, the dates, there's a problem where some of the daytime employees will actually uh, just lazily put items in the wrong section and just mess the, mess the sections up. So when we come in the nighttime, we have to clean it up and, and just clean up their mess, which is not even part of the job description. Why? Because some of the daytime people are slothful. And then they're a brother to him that is a great time waster. Why? Because they're causing us to have, they're basically causing us to waste our time trying to clean up after their mess instead of doing what we're supposed to be doing within the limited time frame. Because at my job, it, we are essentially racing against the clock. We have to have everything done before the store opens. It's a problem there. But when we're having to clean up after the daytime people, it's a problem. The daytime employees. A slothful man is a brother. A slothful man and his work is a brother to him that is a great waster. You know, uh, someone who's just a big time waster who just, just tries to just do everything they can to waste time. They have a lot in common with being slothful because they're lazy. They don't want to actually work hard and get things done. They want to just kill time and say, okay, I want to just clock out and then just kill as much time as possible so I can clock out sooner and not have to do as much work. Exactly. Seen it myself. They are a brother to him that is a great time waster. Uh, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. Again, both of which I personally witnessed at my job. You know, slothfulness casts into a deep sleep. When someone's just being slothful, they're just, oh, whatever, I don't want to do this. I just want to just go home and just lay down and just eat chips on, and watch TV all day. You know, cast into a deep sleep. They don't want to actually do things. They want to just simply lie around and be lazy. And then look at the, the idle soul shall suffer hunger. Exactly. When you're idle, you don't want to get up and actually get yourself some food. Again, I've seen this personally. You don't want to get up and just get yourself some food. You want everyone to bring food to you. So you're willing to actually starve just because you're too lazy to get up and get food. Exactly. I've seen both of it personally at my job. 
uh, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 24. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it, uh, it bring it to his mouth again. Another great example I've seen at work, you know, hideth his hand in his bosom. Again, it always goes back to laziness. Slothful man. Slothfulness is a very wicked sin. It goes into laziness. You're idle. You're you're a sluggard. If you're slothful, it's uh, it's not how God intends you to act. Proverbs chapter twenty one verse twenty five. The desire of the slothful man killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. Exactly. When you're slothful, okay, you can become very overweight, you can become very unhealthy for not doing physical labor and keeping yourself in good physical shape. I'm not even just saying doing physical labor, just exercising in general, keeping yourself in good shape. You can become very overweight, you can have all kinds of health risks, you can have health, you can have heart problems, you can have uh, trouble sleeping if you don't get enough you know, laboring, or even just physical exercise. The desire of a slothful man killeth him. You know, if you're slothful for too long, it can affect it can affect your health so much that you will eventually die. And this is for his hands refuse to labor. When you're not laboring with your hands, because you see, my job keeps me in very, very good physical shape. Okay. Now, I want to do say this with my job. I don't tend on doing this night shift job forever, mainly because you know I just personally don't like doing the night shift. But one of the advantages of doing this job is because it's so physically demanding, it keeps me in very, very good shape because my hands are laboring and I'm staying in good shape because of it. But the desire of a slothful man killeth him. They're overweight, they're unhealthy. It kills them. It can lead to all kinds of health risks. Again, all sin is negative. All sin will lead to health risks in some way, either spiritual or physical. Proverbs 22, uh, 22 verse 13. The slothful man saith, there is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. Exactly. The slothful man, oh, there's a lion. They're, they're always just kind of nervous and afraid. They're always just, they don't want to go deal with problems themselves. And then they make a big deal out of little issues. Oh, there's a lion in the street. There's a lion in the streets. You know? I shall be slain in the streets. Well, if there is, pick up a sword, pick up a rifle, and go take care of the matter. But no, they're slothful and they don't want to do so. Proverbs 24, verse 30 to thir- verses 30 to 31. I went by the field of the slothful, and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. And lo, it was grown over with thorns, and the needles had covered the fence thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Again, it all comes back to the whole work ethic thing. When there's slothful, you know, what does it say? The, uh, the field of the slothful is grown over with thorns. They're not even going out and working it, and it's, it's causing thorns, it's causing the field to become wrecked, you know? And then the whole agricultural thing is not good either. Um, it wrecks that as well. But it's all grown over with thorns. Well, because it's too slothful and lazy and idle to go out and actually fix the problem and take care of the matters. Need, uh, nettles uh, cover the face thereof, you know? They just leave it and say, oh, I'll just do it later. They procrastinate. They put it off and say, oh, I'll just do it later. They keep putting it off and putting it off. And then it gets worse and worse and worse, and then this is what the result is. Grown over with thorns, the needles cast the face thereof, and the stone wall was broken down thereof, or broken down. When you just keep putting things off because of procrastinating because you're slothful, that's the result. It'll just the problem just keeps building and building. Proverbs twenty six, verse thirteen to fifteen. The slothful man saith, There is a line in the way, a line in the streets. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful man upon his bed. A slothful hideth his hand in his bosom, it grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. Again, a perfect description, you know? Oh, there's a line in the streets. Well, then go pick up a gun or a sword and go deal with the matter. But no, they're too slothful to do so. Repeating myself, obviously. As the door turneth upon his hinges, slothful man, so, uh, so doth the slothful man in his bed. You know, exactly. You know, obviously sleep is important. Okay, sleep is obviously very, very important for your health, for your mental health, physical health, and also for your the health of your eyes too. Sleep is actually very good for your eyes. It gives them a rest. It cleans them up. But uh, it says the the uh, the door turns upon its hinges. They're basically just rolling around the bed. They don't want to get up. That simple. Because they're too slothful and lazy to get up. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse eighteen.
By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and, th and, th and through idleness of the hands of the house droppeth through. Again, it ties back to the other verse we read. You know, through much slothfulness the building decayeth, because you're too lazy and slothful to go out and actually fix the building, clean it up, get it, you know, work, do some maintenance on it, it decayeth, it falls apart. When you just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, that's the result. And then through idleness, which, you know, idleness, you'll see this thing over and over again, how idleness goes in with slothfulness. The hands of the house droppeth through, you know, it all ties in. You see, when you just keep putting it off in slothfulness and idleness and sluggardness, that's the result. It keeps, the problem will just keep getting worse. And then by the time you do eventually get to it, it's too late. So I just want to show you those scriptures are showing the, the sin of slothfulness and how it's very, very dangerous. It can lead to all kinds of problems. It can lead to problems at your, at your job. I've seen it personally. I've experienced it personally with some of the daytime employees, how they will put things in the wrong section. We're having to basically waste time to try to clean up their mess. It's a, uh, as I've seen it many, many times, slothfulness is a very wicked sin and it does lead to all kinds of problems, both health problems, uh, your work can be affected and also can lead to other spiritual problems too with your walk with God as well. So anyway, don't get into slothfulness. It is very wicked. Again, my personal experiences, I've seen how bad it is. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.